If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, recently I watched the movie Malcolm X with Denzel Washington. In that movie, it was very interesting to see how Malcolm X at first stumbled across the nation of Islam within the prison system. However, later on, he found the true Islam and even goes to Mecca. I say true Islam because the nation of Islam is a later organization created in America and therefore cannot be seen as the original form of Islam. Here we read, the Nation of Islam is a religious and political organization founded in the United States by Wallace Fart Muhammad in 1930, a black nationalist organization. The NOI focuses its attention on the African diaspora, especially on African Americans. It promotes a form of Islam that differs considerably from mainstream Islamic traditions. Scholars of religion characterize it as a new religious movement. It operates as a centralized and hierarchical organization. So this goes directly against Islam because Islam is not nationalistic. Within nationalism, you pledge allegiance to the nation. So the nation is essentially your God. However, within Islam, you, of course, submit your will to God. Therefore, the Muslims are brothers, the Ummah. That's what it's truly about. And therefore, it does not matter if you're Pakistani, if you're Russian, if you're German, English, whatever. It matters that you are a Muslim, i.e. someone that submits his will to God. It is not about being black or white or yellow or red or green or purple for that matter. There Therefore, to infuse those nationalistic ideas into Islam and pretend then that this is still Islam is, of course, a grave sin. All right, guys, before we start the video, as always, do me the favor, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos, share them if you can, subscribe, of course, and check out the links in the description box. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. I will take the first question. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you. I've, I've listened to you for about for 25 minutes. There's a lot of facts that you speak. Yes, sir. Um, There's a lot of what? A lot of facts. Yes, sir. That you speak. I appreciate that um, when it comes oh. to the war between the West and Russia. Uh, but that's not really my concern. Uh, I'm a Muslim myself. Uh, I come to Islam 10 years ago. I just wanted to ask you a question. Can you speak up a bit? Please? Yeah, if you can come closer, please. Yeah. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, I want to know how you guys, the Nation of Islam, do not contradict Surah Ikhlas. The Surah Ikhlas is very clear. It, is that, it says that Allah is one. He is self-sufficient, he does not beget, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing like unto him. So do you not realize that you are sharing an attribute of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it comes to his asma wa sifat, with Elijah, Muhammad, or whoever it is for that matter, where you are claiming, because you're praising Allah, which is good. I'm, I, was, I was saying the same thing when you said taqbir, I was saying Allah Akbar. But when it comes to Elijah, Muhammad, you guys claim to be a Muslim when you're going to, when you are contradicting the very foundation of Islam, which we come and preach to the Christians that God is not a man, not a white man or a black man. So can you please just answer my question? This is a great point, neither a white nor a black man. This is the beauty of Islam, of course. Allah, God, transcends everything, transcends time and space, and therefore you cannot fit him or compare him to anything within creation, and obviously not with a mere human. How is this not idolatry? Really think about it. People are making fun about Hindus because they're worshipping an elephant head God. But how is that different if you are worshipping a man? It is exactly the same concept because of your limited mind. You try to fit God into your own imagination and make him into something that he is not. It is so ridiculous, man. God created everything. God created humans. God created blacks and whites. And now he is either a white God, i.e. Jesus Christ, or he is a black God, i.e. Elijah Muhammad, or whatever his name might be. How does this make any sense to you, man? If you look into the miracles of nature alone, you will find birds that have better eyesight than us. You will see dogs that have better sense of smell than us. You will see big creatures like whales, etc., etc. 
whatever, you name it. And then you want to tell me that a human being created all of that. Understandable, but can you please just tell me, how do you <sighs> reconcile both? I, 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 I understand your question, and it's a beautiful question. And I thank you very much for the spirit in which you asked that question. But I will say this, when we ask a question, we should be intelligent enough of those to listen to the answer. We should never ask a question with a preconceived notion or we believe that we know already in that, oh, you're just a bunch of fools. So I now agree with you're that. You're going to mock them and you're going to sure. want to jump in. Let's go. Let me say it like this to you. We agree with Surah Ikhlas. Say that Allah is one God. He's all independent. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is none oh. comparable unto him. We agree 100%. The creator of the heavens and the earth, he originated. He was not begotten. He is self-created. He creates everything. So he's neither begotten nor does he beget. Yep. We, we agree. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1,400 years ago, went into a cave. And while in that cave, he heard a voice saying, Ikra, read in the name of thy Lord. The prophet said he looked and in all four corners he saw a man. Are we agreed? He saw a man. That man we call Jibreel or the angel Gabriel. The prophet Muhammad, one day he's walking with the companions. A man comes to him. Dressed in white, the man stops him and asks him questions about the faith of Islam. That's the right. Prophet answers the questions, the man walks away. The Prophet turns to the companions, do you know who that was? They said no. He said that's Jibreel. Amen. Jibreel is the one who through him, Almighty God Allah, revealed the Holy Quran. Okay. Make sense? Okay. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he never said, I am the Prophet of Jibreel. I am the Prophet of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an unlearned man couldn't read, couldn't write. Looked down upon by many. There were people who knew him when he was a child growing up. I think they called him Adamine because he was a beautiful human being. But nonetheless, he was not somebody who was regarded highly in the society. In fact, when he married Khadija, it was Khadija who basically paid his way because he had not the resources and that kind of money. So this is not a man that was, you know, people are looking up to him. In fact, when he said, I am the messenger of Allah, he was persecuted. I want you to think about some of your attitudes today. See, because they accused the prophet of blasphemy. Because they were worshipping stones and bricks and snakes okay, and Okay, man, we get it. It's very theatralic. Oh, Alright, they get to the point. Look, man, I say it to you like this. You gotta listen very carefully to the language of the nation of Islam. Oh, we believe so now. So pompous, man. Just say it, dude. Unbelievable. You are Half an hour for nothing. That you don't know nothing. Maybe you're sitting over there, you gotta. A, a, a tin of tenants. Yeah, yeah, you're oh, the wise man. Out. We get it. You have <laughs> and, the revelation. And Leo Let's listen to you. That's me. I'm brother Leo. I come to you. And I say, my brother, how are you? You know, what's up, you man? You say, man, I'm down. I'm got nothing, whatever. And I speak to you for a few hours about the beauty and the majesty and the love of God. And you become inspired from that little talk. And you get up and you go and you do your shahada and you become a beautiful Muslim and your life changes. Whether you understand this or not, Allah came to you in the person of Leo Muhammad. Not that I am Allah. Allah uses human beings. Allah don't do magic. He yeah, do we get it, man. He okay, get to, to the point, please. Through men and women. In the Holy Quran, Allah said, had you been an angel, right. I would have sent you an angel. But because you're a man, the prophet went about in the marketplace eating food like everybody else. He got sick like everybody else. At the Battle of Badr, he got wounded like everybody else. Allah didn't do magic and save him. When they were hunting him, the, the Koresh, trying to kill him, and he went into that little cave and the spider made the web. It, it was only, that was Allah, but, but not magic. The prophet was in danger of dying. The companions had to flee to Ethiopia, to the black people in Africa, to, for asylum, when they wanted to kill them. Teach, prophet, teach. This is how Allah works. So all I'm saying to you, we understand teach, the Muslims, when they get angry with us, because they believe that we're practicing shirk, I can assure you we're not doing that. All right, we could have spared our time by simply looking up the definition of Allah on Google. This man talked for half an hour. He was pompous, boasting about his knowledge on Islam, how much he knows about the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. But nevertheless, you cannot get around practicing shirk because this is your definition, a central tenet of its theology is the portrayal of Allah as a black man. And nation members believe that this was the form that the first God 
consciously took. How is this different from Christianity, man? It is exactly the same. You're speaking about an incarnation. God takes a form of men. So God in Christianity takes the form of Jesus. You believe that God consciously took the form of a black man. It continues. Each God has different abilities and degrees of power. What are we even speaking about? Each God. How is this not shit? You have multiple gods now? It continues. The nation regards its founder, Fart Muhammad, as the latest of these gods or God in person. So I'm a revert to Islam myself. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a student of knowledge. I'm just a normal person that reverted to Islam. But I can tell you, this is shirk. Oh, guess what? Guess what? Hot air. Just talk, Did talk, you know talk for nothing. There's not another human being on this planet with your fingerprint. Yeah. Do you understand oh, wow. that there's not another human being on this planet I can't with anymore. the same dimensions of your retina or anything to do yeah, with Yeah, you need creations, bro. One side of your face is completely different to the other. Yo, not completely, yet, sir, slightly. That means that you are unique, incomparable. But the Muslims, we take it to such an extreme where Allah cannot be comprehended. If you can't comprehend him, you can't worship that which you cannot comprehend. No, you can't. <laughs> so you're going absolutely against Islam yet again because Islam says that Allah is nothing like his creation. That is that. Other than that, if you want to comprehend Allah, good luck. You will never fully comprehend Allah. It is impossible because Allah transcends time and space and transcends, of course, our limitations. He is unlimited. Therefore, we, with our limited mind, will never fully understand him. And that is fine. That is the majesty of Allah. However, if you want to get to know Allah, you want to get closer to Allah, let's say you read the Quran and you have the 99 names of Allah. This is how you can get closer to Allah. Through prayer, you can get closer to Allah. But to be so arrogant, to assume that you must fully understand Allah, that is so ridiculous. And this is the trap that the Christians fell into as well. Anthropomorphism yet again. The Christian want to draw closer to God, closer to Allah, and therefore they invented that God is the Father, He has a Son, they eternally love each other through the Holy Spirit, this is how we can understand God, He is our Father, and then you have rightfully so the debunking coming from the atheist, where they say, you know what, I don't believe in your sky daddy. And I get them because I don't believe in the sky daddy either. Allah, God, is not the sky daddy, is not the father. He is beyond gender, of course. Those are human limitations that you impose onto God so you will feel secure. Islam goes exactly against this. Look, look, believe me. <laughs> believe it's such me. a theory. <laughs> believe me. The I'm reason saying why the so many of us are in trouble today, man, is because we're bowing down and we're praying to nothing. nothing. We don't believe that Allah has substance, has power. Look at what this white man's got. What are got. you talking about? Have you seen his weapons? What if I told you that oh my look, how can I explain this to you? Guys, let's jump into the 99 names of Allah. First name. Ar-Rahman, the most or entirely merciful. Second name, Ar-Rahim, the bestower of mercy. Third name, Al-Malik, the king and owner of dominion. Fourth name, Al-Qudus, the absolutely pure. Fifth name, As-Salam, the perfection and giver of peace, etc, etc, you name it. So how are you a Muslim man? You say that Muslims nowadays pray to nothing. Allah is nothing now. They pray to something that has no substance at all. Here you have the attributes of Allah. This will let you know who you're praying to. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You're praying to the most merciful. How is this nothing? What are you even talking about? God now needs to be a black man. So so I can worship him. This is not inclusive either. This is again exactly against Islam. Because if we're talking about Judaism, some people say, you know what, Judaism is purely monotheistic. There are of course arguments against that as well, but nevertheless, that's not the topic of today. It is ethnocentric. 
That is the whole issue here. It addresses the children of Israel. So if you're not ethnically a Jew, you are not Jewish. That's basically what it is. And therefore, you cannot really adhere to Judaism. It is exclusive. It is nation-based, ultimately. It is ethnocentric, yet again. And the nation of Islam is that as well. This is why everybody is black within the nation of Islam. So what am I supposed to do now? I've been born as a white person, a creation of God, and now I'm going to worship a black man and vice versa yet again i find it ridiculous as well when i see africans worshiping a white man jesus it doesn't add up god transcends biology this got some electricity in it right there's no scientists ah, on the planet man this guy thinks he's smart there's the nothing more painful electricity. seeing a stupid person that that's thinks why sometimes they're you smart. can touch something and you get a little spark because it's all around it's awesome it's it's one of the most mysterious powers in the universe wow. you and i are run on electricity this brain is uh, electric. Not it's awesome but it's wow. firing right now neurons and neutrons and it's, it's phenomenal okay yeah. i've got electric in me this has got electric in it electric in this you, is not in sense. The the electric impulses the yeah. source of electricity allah puts himself Wherever he pleases, he can go into a man. That's shirk. No, it's not shirk. This is what I'm saying to you. Look, look, look. Do you believe that the earth is divine? No. You don't? No. Well, Allah says it. Where? It's divine. Where? Oh, yes, sir. Where? where? Sir, look, it's his creation. Where? Yeah, where? Everything that Allah... Allah is the opposite of his creation. That is the whole point here. The creation is temporal. It is created. Therefore, it has a beginning and obviously an ending as well. Allah has no beginning, no end. Uncreated. Do you understand this? He is the source of everything. Therefore, if he is the source, his characteristic, if you will, is obviously completely different than the creation. The creation is receiving, in a sense, and he is the giver. You cannot compare those two. And therefore, Ali Dawa is right here. This is shirk. The thing of Allah's Where? creation is divine. What's your name, Brother Leo? Leo, Leo Muhammad, yes sir. How is it divine? Are you divine? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Do you know what divine means? Let me, let me just finish the point, okay. Your point is endless, man. Go it goes nowhere. Because yeah, you do. Personally, you already I think did. I've made my point. You didn't. I, I would just say to you, study. See that instruction this to the prophet. This is stupid Ikra, man's religion. It wasn't man. just to the prophet. Sorry, guys. To all of us, because many of us today we walk with the Holy Quran. The book says they put the book behind their backs, and we listen to the sheikh, we listen to the mullahs, we listen to the so-called scholars, and we are left absolutely messed up i'm saying dear sir dear brother go and study for yourself and understand that it is not sure to understand that allah is the influence of men and women allah the influence is the is fine. power yeah. when i come out here i don't come in here with no spook god my god walks not just by my side in me around me oh yes sir oh yes sir no, but, it, but it's the, uh, that's the difference see look that's, see, what's shit. that's what we disagree that's what i'm saying so this is where we have to disagree but 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 this is the point this is what we believe but where's your evidence from the quran and the sunnah no, 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 I understand. No, no, you need to be evident. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just going to talk about electricity, whatever, who cares? I'm going to read it by myself. I don't need a shake. No, 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 but if you understand that. But you're saying Allah is within us. You're not giving any proof, man. Nothing. The, the, the Christ, the Christ, he causes lame people to walk. He causes dumb people to speak. He causes the blind to see. Don't By Allah's indeed. permission, Good. right? Agree. Not agree. Yeah, but not spooks. No, I know. Agree. Allah is moving that man. Allah is in control of that man. Yeah. Thank but you. Allah is not that man. 
No, Allah is in that man. No, that's true. No, but that's what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to that's you. That's what Electricity is in here, but electricity remains everywhere. But Allah is not electricity. No, no, no. Allah is, is electricity. No, he's not. He's wow, electricity. man. Allah is electricity. No. Congratulations, so low IQ. <laughs> that's what anthropomorphism leads to. First, you make God a man. Astaghfirullah. So then you believe, oh, okay, we can put him in a box. And then you start comparing him to electricity. In the New Age, for example, they compared God to water. They say, oh, God, the universe is like an old Ocean and I'm a droplet of that ocean, yada, yada, yada. All of those concepts are based upon either biology or physicality. They do not understand that Allah transcends both because both of those things are creations. No matter how majestic they are, it does not matter that electricity is majestic, wind is majestic, it does not matter. All of it is a creation. All of it is temporal. None of it is infinite. And hence, none of it is divine. I don't even think that he knows what divine means. We as humans die. We as humans are creation. Hence, we are in direct opposite to the eternal God. Do you understand this? You know, you, you want to make Allah nothing. No, we are, no, no, no that's you want doing. to make we him something Allah physical. Allah is everything. That's no, the difference. We, we say Allah your is Allah, your Allah, Allah is, is nothing. How? Our Allah is everything. But Leo, how? Yes, sir. Hey, listen, yes, sir. nothing. Yes, sir. <laughs> everything. Yes, sir. Everything yes, sir. wins. Yes, sir. Everything yes, bigger than nothing. <laughs> no, you're not going to no. monopolize the questions. Go ahead. Go ahead. You didn't answer my question. Yes, sir. But, but, no, but this is very. You didn't answer my question. I said, so no, he didn't answer anything. How does that contradict? One second, brother. You didn't answer anything. Right. That, how does that co yes. coexist with that? He didn't answer my question. At all. You didn't answer my question. No, he talked for half an hour about electricity. This is the reason why, guys. This is the reason why the mushrikeen fell into shit. Yes. Because he's Why saying we need that? substance. And, uh, we have to see Allah. Jesus we know the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said anybody that doesn't see Allah and believe in him will enter Jannah. The whole point right. is what we don't fall into what the mushrikeen fell into by thinking we need something that we can see. That is shit. And this brother, Thank you very much. Said, this is the reason why when it comes to the issue of takfir, we're very careful because I'm not qualified to say someone you're a kafir. Hmm. But when somebody comes and says Allah is in me or Elijah Muhammad is Allah, this is shit. You are not a Muslim. Yes. I invite these brothers to the true Tawheed of Islam and I invite you as well to Islam. Yeah, This is not Islam. We need to make it very clear brothers and sisters what these brothers are on. May Allah guide them and mind me. This is not Islam. All right, but yet again, for the sake of YouTube, I'm going to cut the video off here. We made our points. The video continues for roughly 15 more minutes. So please, if you want to check out the original video, head over to Ali Dawa's channel. I'm going to link it in the description box and there you can watch the whole thing. That being said, he made great points, especially in the end here when he was actually able to talk and didn't get his question answered whatsoever. He informed the man that this is shirk. Yet again, it is so simple. This is exactly what Islam stands against. Islam came to fight off idolatry. This is the whole point of it. This is what Tawheed is, of course. We are not praying to the creation. Over and over again, people don't seem to understand what Islam is. And those guys over there try to fit it into their Afrocentric, ethno-nationalistic movement. Yet again, this is where everybody is black over there and is wearing some sort of military suit. This has nothing to do with Islam. All of them are clean-shaven as well, even though we are supposed to obey the Sunnah, to go by the Sunnah. The Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was of course wearing a beard and not wearing an American suit. None of this makes sense because it's based upon nationalism, which goes against Islam in the first place. And then furthermore, they got deluded, just like the Christian yet again, to worship men. Ah, all of this can be summarized in worship the creator, not the creation. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys, and as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.